So yeah, Penguin Highway. This is a uh, this is showing for one one night only. It was playing both Japanese and English. We saw it in Japanese with English, with English subtitles. It's um fantasy adventure movie involving children. It um it's a story about uh the these strange happenings in 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 a city in Japan and uh, not really a city like a rural town well uh, one one of which includes penguins yeah so the main the main story here is it starts off when this kid if I can't, sorry, I can't remember his name Ayo Oyama oh, Oyama Oyama right? I mean the Japanese pronounce yeah. Oyama because the A is silent when you have an A next to a vowel um, so yeah this kid like, who's nine years old he's really sophisticated for his age he he always he's always super serious with everything he does he, ne he never shows emotion and part of his character arc is he's basically young Sheldon yeah, but from, not not as more tolerable. annoying yeah so his character arc here is that he's very he's he's very quick he's very quick to grow eager to grow up he even calculates how many days he has left to, till his 18th birthday on, on a on a so he becomes on, on an his, adult until he becomes an adult in japan which i think is I, I think in japan you're legally you're legally considered a minor until you turn 20 so i think it might he might be 11 but he says in fourth grade so i think that would make him nine i'm not yeah. sure and, and he, he, he considers yeah, so he's around that age so sorry you're saying Anyway, he considers everything to be some weird, like, scientific explanation. Yeah, and, and he and like I said, his character arc is like he never shows emotion. Everything has to be taken super seriously. But towards the end, he learn. Uh, there's this one. There's this one woman whose name is um. I'm not a name uh, person. He, well, I don't think they. I think she has a name, but they don't address it. He just calls her Onesama. Oh, yeah, Onesan. Sorry. Yeah, Onesan. So his, yeah, his, 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 his character, his character arc is that he, he always takes things super seriously, and then he never shows, shows emotion. And by the end of the film, um, after a sequence of events happens, he he, he realizes that he that 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 people need emotions. I guess it's not really touched upon. Like it's not really like shoving your face. Like, you have to show emotions. And this is. It, I it's think show, it's, it's not it's, just. It's not really shoving your face, but he, you you see him show more emotion as time goes on. On, as he realizes mm -hmm. that things are some things can't be scientifically explained he realizes that some things uh, that some things need that you basically you need emotion in your life otherwise you're otherwise you're never you're never gonna, gonna you're never gonna grow so that so the, so a lot of the movie is is basically him being very being very studious and and never like and he, and he has one friend whose name i also can't remember because i'm horrible at names uchida what uchida yeah yeah, who, yeah, he has one friend who's a total, who's a total, who's like completely opposite of him, who, who takes everything very lightly, who's a total ditz, gets, who trips all the time. He, he always, he never, he, he, he literally can't like two feet in front of him. He, he never, he literally just like, like falls, trips all the time and falls into the mud puddles, falls into the, falls into the river. And so it's, and the, the, yeah, and so the story kind of centers around, yeah, and the, these eventual happenings all start getting pieced together. And um, you know they find they f they find uh, some they find a a little rip in the space time continuum. Yeah. It's like they, oh, yeah, and what, it's I, what, what, I, what I like about it is it's a this movie's about focusing the main characters in this movie are children. So it's not if if this movie is focused on teens or adolescents or in an older group or like adults, they they be they all be super like oh my oh they'll be like holy fuck it's a it's a it's a, it's a tear in the space time continuum. But since we're like nine year old little children, like. Oh, it's it's just a tear in the space of continuum. Oh well, and so, it's, so <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's funny the way they address it. Like, so it's funny the way the way you they, that, they see it through the, you see it through the children's eyes. So everything is like, oh, this is something that we should study. It's interesting. Oh, it was, tear yeah. in the space. Well, they don't continuum. they don't figure they don't figure out like this. It's a hole in the hole in the universe until like very much later when I, I guess I guess A Aoyama doesn't really figure it out until like the very last. The very third act where yeah. all of a sudden he he puts all his notes together and they start and he st and they start like filling into pieces filling it filling like the pieces in in like the puzzle and it's like just one whole concept and the con and that kind of concept is revealed to him um like just as the just as like the the movie progresses yeah i'm, I'm looking at their names so much, so uh, much of, much of it, much of the hole in the universe, makes is like, it also it's also tied to, the penguins, yeah. which are actually created by the woman that he, he he's seeing. Speaking of which. Oh yeah, um, can, can we talk uh, about yeah, yeah. The, the kid? Like I said, like I said, he's probably on some on some. I'm I'm not sure if he's on some kind of what's a drug that, that soccer that football players use to. 
t- testosterone. Yeah, I'm not sure. He, I don't. I, I think thought he was on, some kind I don't of think testosterone. He's on anything. But he's he just... is, he's so addicted to older women's a lot of like older women's like he's so addicted to people's boobs. He every time he sees like yeah. a, like a gelatin cake. More more, like, more specifically, the woman. Yeah, like the woman he hangs out with a lot. Yeah, who, who turns out to be who turns out to be but the I catalyst of this. That's of just. This whole... I think that's just just him being being a kid. Yeah. To be honest, I, I don't know. When I was nine, I wasn't I wasn't obsessed with boobs like that. But I, I guess like he's a, that's part of his character is that he's very mature for his age, and all the adults are telling him you're very mature for your age. You should you should act more like, look more like a kid. And that's I mean that's what happened. Yeah, like, okay. I mean yeah, that's that was also something he he acts really mature. He acts like a little bit mature. And there was just one part where I, I wasn't sure if he was autistic or not because he always he always asks how come people do this. I forget I forget the exact wording, but he was he was having it's like it, it was it was like hinted at that he has problems uh, understanding think, understanding social cues. I forget the exact wording. Oh, I think that's 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 kid. That's like a guy. That's like a kid who probably. Like you know, did didn't ha- only hung out with like one person and spends his time just like making assumptions through statistics, otherwise known as page master syndrome. Yeah. But um, hey, the one with Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that movie sucked. No, the, the page master, not this, not this movie. This movie's good. <laughs> yeah, that, um, there's a reason why I call it that. But it's okay, like, so their names are okay. So there's. Lady, her name, her name is her name is just listed as Lady. They never give they, her a name. They, they just call her Onesan. Onesan. Uh, Uchida. There's his friend Hamamato, which is his, is the girl. Oh um, yeah, Ham. Yeah, and, uh, and and then there's then there's yeah. So uh, there's yeah uh, uh, yeah Hamamoto <laughs> is another Hamamoto. Right? I uh-huh. think yeah she was there to to kind of be like a like a different kind of like. Kind of like rival, but not really. They they end up becoming teammates yeah. over like studying this, this giant like hole. Giant spirit tear the space time continuum. <laughs> they call it the ocean the because ocean. it's it, it's kind of wa- it looks like like yeah, a big it's, ball it's of this water. giant sphere that levitates that can that opens up a portal to another dimension, or like it it makes like the fourth like it turns the world into like, into like the fourth dimension where everything is like a, like like everything is like inverted and stuff. They explain it in they they explain. Um, they, they explain it in the movie in, in the weirdest way. Like, I think it's Aoyama's father who explains, like, there's like this. Yeah, his father with the, with the purse thing. Yeah, with the purse. He has this, he's talking about how, how you could put the world it's, in. It's the, very it's strange. Very... I, I don't know. Like, he, he explains it, like, in like a Stranger Things kind of way. So you really Oh, yeah, have to... Stranger Things with the, with the, when he, when he twists, puts the paper. Something like that. When he put, and then he stabs the paper with a pencil, that thing. You so know, you, I mean. so you kind of have to watch the movie to understand, the, mm-hmm. th- to understand it. One thing that I really liked about this movie was very, when you have movies like this, that folk, when their cast is primarily children, when you think of another movie that comes to mind, we just reviewed a couple months ago, Mirai, the, the, the adults yeah. are never given names. And I just look at this movie online right now, on, on according to its Wikipedia page, the adults in this movie are just referred to as, as Aoyama's father, Hamamoto's father, and Lady. They're never given names because, like I said, well, like we said in that movie, when you're a kid, you you get this feeling of entitlement, like the whole world revolves around you, and like the, and ever and like adults don't matter to you. Like, you're, like the only thing that matters is you and your clip, and your clique of friends and, and what's going on in your life. Yeah, absolutely. And so, just like just like just like in the movie Mirai, where the whole where the whole movie was focusing around the kid and his parents never even get names. He doesn't even know their names. Here, like since it's focused on these kids. Kids, it's and you you want to see it from their perspective. The adults are never re- referred to as as their names. Even the kids don't refer to their parents as their, by their by their names. Which I'm not sure that's who with, with with in Japan you you, you refer to your parents by the last name. Um, I, I, I think it's honestly I think, because uh, I don't know. It's I think yeah. I think it's just because it's in their point of view and yeah. like 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 more more importantly Aoyama's per- point of view. And, you know, not too much, there's not too much emphasis on, on the adults, save for Aoyama's father and Hamamoto's father, who, like, like, who... Who's a scientist. Who's a scientist, and that's why she, why she is much, she's fascinated with, 
with like studying things just as much as Aoyama is. Yeah, and like, it, I, like towards the middle of the film, when he when the, his when Aoyama's little sister comes to him and says, "Mom's gonna die," I really when like, and then you think like, she, "Oh my gosh, she's gonna die right now." No, she's gonna die eventually. Like, of course she's gonna die. Everyone, everyone dies. Like, like you wouldn't you typically hear a nine year old speaking like that, and, and you think yeah, he's, very, oh, yeah. he's like he's like said, uh, you don't hear a nine year old saying every, being all philosophical, saying, "Oh look, everyone dies, part of life." But then at the end, when the woman, the lady dies, he cries, and the, and then he's because he's like. I, He's like, what's the point of crying when no one's gonna die? I mean, everyone's gonna die eventually, something like that. And then when the lady actually, when someone he cares about actually dies, he a he acts like a normal person and, st and stops be and stops being this this stoic, monochrome, yeah, so philosophical douchebag who has to analy <laughs> analy no, not sorry, analytical douchebag who has to like analyze everything, like writes down everything, and take notes and everything. So um, yeah, I, so yeah, and so, uh, and this this actually happens when when. Uh, uh, the when Onesan eventually solves the solves the the whole the whole o like the hole in the universe problem, which um, we're not I'm not gonna spoil I'm not gonna spoil because a lot of this a lot of this centers around her and um, and and the penguins as well. So like I'm not gonna so I we're not gonna reveal the secret of how that happens, yeah. but when the problem is solved, um, eventually, there there's mm -hmm. this moment where he kind of realizes that everyone ha has to disappear, and um, eventually that might that might include her. And yeah, so, and yeah, yeah. The, I guess that's kind of him kind of realizing you know you know even even some of the perf even like the people that he considers perfect especially her um are are mortal as well that i mean that's kind of the way i saw it yeah but yeah i i, I saw it kind of like the blader the whole blader oh, thing yeah. where the flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long so this lady has like has this insane psychic powers and can manifest penguins out of thin air which are, which are connected to this kinetic energy called the penguin highway which is this kids which is what the kid calls the 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 kinetic energy or the the magic energy that causes the penguins to form so she has all this power but she realizes that she can't control it and, so, and somehow and and there's some like weird i'm not sure this is a spoiler I mean, it's it's kind of our is that really spoiling her? I mean, uh, no, we already discussed that she dies. We already know that. So her her imag like her imagination is much much different than like again she can she can create penguins out of inanimate objects, yeah. and um, another and um, you know sh there there are other things that go with that you know good and bad that that happen in this movie. And uh, because of that, it, and and because of that, like, you know that that's how the story that's how the story kind of goes with this movie. Yeah, I see. So let's see. And, I, I, and the way the, the way that tr the 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 penguins are created are are really like, it's, for lack of a better word, creative. Yeah. Like, I I love like the way they animated like how how that how that's done. Like there's this scene where like she throws the Coca Cola bottle yeah. or the can, and like it fizzes and it's like, and it just like creates like this, and it just like creates in the shape of a penguin and then and all of a sudden like, I, th I mean that was cool. When what I th what I thought was really cool about this film like. Um, regarding the characters and all that stuff, some of the main characters are kids. Was that you have you have this mischievous feeling where the kids were like, okay, you the kids in this movie, like, there's really no bad guy in this movie, but the the, the antagonists are the kids' parents, or more specifically, uh, the girl's parents, who's a scientist, and they, they want to like, and they're not really doing anything bad. They're just trying to stop the kids from from, from like researching this thing. Well, but, oh, when, speak, when you're, yeah. sorry, you're saying. Uh, speaking of which, the the bully in this movie. Yeah, well, I'm. I mean, I mean the way things. I mean the way th he he ends up doing. He ends up going going with it. It's. I I just really like. I just really liked like how the, how eventually like, like even, even the, like even even the the girls girl scientists, 
I forgot her name already. Um, Masamo Hamamoto. Hamamoto. You know, she tells she tells him about the whole thing about the the about about the event about the hole. Yeah. And then he eventually gets like this this th new new kind of spe species of lizard, that's which got, is like, also and brags about, it, and then he's bragging about it. So that, which is also created, which probably was also created mm -hmm. by the the by the woman. But sorry, but, yeah. And then she, he tells he tells everyone, and then, and then he's like, yeah, "How dare you? I hate you! You, you! you betrayed me!" And she feels betrayed. But what what I was what I was, what I was going to say was that what I really like about this is, like I said, since it's focusing on the kids, it gives you that. Whatever you want, I was watching this, another movie that did this uh, was um, um, when Monty was there by by uh, by Studio Ghibli. It made you feel like since the, the kid, you're you're supposed to connect with these kids, that you are you are doing something mischievous, and, and you want and you get this feeling like, oh my god, this is so cool. I get, I get to feel like it's, it's, it's it, it, doing it, made you, it, it made you feel like it made, it made you really feel like embrace. You were trying to embrace your child because because yeah. ki kids like like here the message here is that kids are always right and adults mess up, and adults fuck up everything. So because in this situation in this particular situation. Everything oh, would have yeah. been fine if the adults had just left left the left the, t the tear in the time space continuum alone and not done anything. But because they had, they, because the, the adults and they're big and they're and their sciencey stuff had to use, had to get involved, they they made this rift in the space time continuum even bigger, and that and that resulted in going to critical mass and, and, and engulfing a bunch of people and well, taking I, them to the fourth dimension. I personally sucking them to the fourth yeah, dimension. Yeah, I personally like, think that you know, I I think it's just that you know something. I feel like it like some things are just left to like certain other are just, some things aren't worth explaining. I, I felt like like some things aren't really worth explaining, and like those who understand it will can can probably handle this more so yeah. because I don't think I don't think I don't think even like like because like the way I see it, Hamamoto's father. And his team like end up getting caught in the void after trying to like figure it out, figure out what what this what this hole what this hole in the universe is. Yeah. But it, it actually is but like eventually they they all kind of realize they eventually like it's Aoyama who realizes it and like he doesn't take his friends he he and he tries to take his friends with him but they, they get caught. But eventually he decides, you know, he has, he has to go, he has to go, he has to go at it alone with Onesan and, uh, her army of penguins. Oh yeah. And towards the end, it's implied that, that the lady woman might, might return because earlier on the film, they sent in this, they sent in this penguin shaped, um, Lego, Lego rocket with a, with a thermometer. Was it a thermometer or something? Was it in the yeah. A thermometer. Yeah, with a thermometer. So, so they were trying to an exp experiment to see if they can get this, they can measure the, the temperature of this roof in the space time continuum by throwing a penguin shaped Lego, uh, heli uh, not helicopter, a spaceship into it with, a, with a thermometer inside of it. And then at the very end of the film, it returns so it's and then something ha like there's there's like some some shift some rift in the um in the t thermometer's temperature you can see it's it's i think was it going up or going down at the end I forget i i don't i, I was, don't know i don't i think it was going i think that it was going up well which, either either which, way i it might it might ha which, Either way, th there's like, like this movie's for kids. But there's a lot of subtle cues that you can, you can appreciate if you're an adult. Like there's this part where the, the lady she's melting over time, and the, the the harder things get for her, the more she melts. The more she melts, the more uh, like, like the penguins. When the, when the penguins get too hot, they they melt. And when she gets too hot, her powers go out of control, and she like and she, or or in. Well, they well they get far if they get too far away from the penguin energy. Yeah, from the penguin energy. So, so I guess at the end, it's like trying to imply that she might return eventually because the, the thermometer keeps going up and keeps, and, and it was hot inside of the the because the 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 um, the, sp the Lego spaceship that they put inside of the, th the thermometer it came out and it's and it's showing that the temperature temperature is heating up, which means that and since she heats up everything she touches with it, might, it might mean that she's still alive somewhere. So I guess it, it has a, it's, yeah, the subtle things like that really make you appreciate like this. I mean, they could have just made, just made this a dumb, stupid kitty movie with no subtext or, or anything like or anything that makes you think or, or just like or just I mean, with a ton like Penguin Highway, you I wasn't thinking okay, this could be a movie about a, a, a very smart film. 
philosophical nine-year-old dealing with the intricacies of I mean, of, of the I mean, of, I, I of, of rifts in the space-time continuum. Okay, I mean, you're not you're not going to speak that with the title of Penguin Highway. So I mean, I went in without any yeah without any context. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so yeah, so it's it's funny that you see the like I said, the characters are really likable. The 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 whole dynamic between the, the kid who's a super who's a super smart who takes everything seriously and his friends are a total dunce that was a fun dynamic and uh Hamamoto the girl yeah she's, she's also very smart and um and there uh was anything about Mono, Hamamoto I want to say oh, um oh yeah she's good at chess and she's like and she's always like beating everyone at chess and she's and um she's she's studied the, the she's super smart too she's studied the theory of relativity even though she's only nine she's, she's studying from Einstein and, and there's yeah there it's 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 the it's the, it's those dynamics like between like the between like the the kids, and even like the kids and adults are like some is like something that is, like it's pretty much believable, but like in in like an anime, but like it's still got that little anime flair that you get like when like the kids are communicating with the adults just as much. Yeah. So. It reminds me of a, of, a, of, a, of a of a um of a quote from Elijah Price from Glass. I mean, I, I, that movie wasn't really good, but the one thing that was good about Glass was 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 um, James McAvoy's performance, especially when he was playing um, Hedwig. And Elijah saying, "You're nine, right? It's amazing. You get to, you get to see the world the way for the way it truly is, implying that kids' views of the world is the right is the right view of the world." Like, I remember that one clip from Glass. Remember, yeah, I remember that. Hedwig was like nine years old or mentally, and he, he's the same age as these kids are. So it, it reminded remind of, of that scene from Glass where, he, where Elijah Price is saying, "You get to see the world for the way it truly is forever." That was that was like a, that was something that that was just came to mind. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it's really fascinating. Yeah. So is there anything we're missing? What I. Mean, don't think so. Oh yeah, according to Wikipedia, this movie is based on a um, on a light novel, or not really, not a light novel, a regular novel, a novel that came out back in two thousand ten, and there's a manga adaptation that came out just last year in two thousand eighteen that's still going on. So, still, yeah, still going. Yeah, the manga. Well, the manga is only, only one volume so far. So, so I'm, I'm assuming it's it's going to just be like an adaptation of the of the move of of the movie, or it's an adaptation of the original book. It says here that the... I thought the movie came out... Well, the book came, came out, out back just, in 2010. The movie came out last year. Th- it's published in America by Yen Press, the the the, the, the right. novel. So if you, so, I guess so, if you want to see what the source material is like, go, go read that. Yeah. 